In this lesson, I'll show you four examples on how to find the derivative of exponential functions. Let's start with question one. Question one asks us to find the derivative of the function f at x is equal to 10 to the power of x to the power of two plus two. So this is the exponent and this is the base. According to this, our base is left the way it is and we'll denote the derivative of f at x with f prime at x is equal to b, which is 10, u, which is this part, x to the power of two plus two. Then we take the derivative of u and the derivative of this, we can use the power rule, u prime is equal to two x and, and the derivative of two is zero. So we'll write down two x right next to it and this dot means multiplication times ln of our base, 10. This expression represents our final answer. Let's move on to question two. Find the first, second, and third derivative of y is equal to two times x to the power of three x. For this, we'll use the following relationship, and you'll be surprised on how easy this is. Let's start with y prime. y prime is the derivative of this, which is e to the power of three x. So we have two e to the power of three x, and we take the derivative of three x, which is three. That's the first derivative. That, of course, equals to six e to the power of three x. Now, y double prime. We have six e to the power of three x times three, which gives us 18 e to the power of three x. I multiplied the three and the six together. And y triple prime is equal to 18 e to the power of three x times three, which is equal to 54 e to the power of three x. These are your three answers. Moving on to question three. Find the derivative of y is equal to e to the power of x to the power of three plus five x to the power of two. We'll use the exact same logic as before that we did in question two. y prime is equal to, I'll rewrite this the exact way it is written, and I'll take the derivative of this part which is three x to the power of two, power rule, power rule, 10 x, and that's it. That's your answer. Finally, in question four, they want us to differentiate x to the power of three times e to the power of x to the power of two. For this, you'll need to use the product rule. We'll start by leaving this the way it is and taking the derivative of e to the power of x squared, which is e to the power of x squared times two x. I use the power rule to get me two x, Next, I'll find the derivative of x to the power of three, which is three x squared, and leave that the way it is. Now, I can factor out the following, where I end up with e to the power of x squared, and this step is totally optional. Technically, you're done after this. Two x times x to the power of three is two x to the power of four plus three x to the power of two, you can also factor out x to the power of two from both of these. Let's see what happens if you do that. x to the power of two, e to the power of x to the power of two, two x to the power of two plus three. And there you have it. Four examples on how to find the derivative of exponential functions.